Hello friends, welcome in today's RET Online School Education Program for RET Talent Search exam. Today's subject General Science. Chapter number 10 Disaster Management. See this picture. What events do you see in the picture? We can see disasters like earthquake, famine, floods, fire, storms and volcanic eruption in this picture. We also read some news related to these disasters in the newspaper. Types of disasters Disasters are of two main kinds natural disaster and man-made disaster. Examples of natural disaster are earthquake, storms, famine, tsunami, forest fire, volcanic eruption, cloudbursts and lightning strikes. And examples of man-made disaster are Leakage of chemical gas, fire, bomb explosion, war, and accidents. Famine. We can see the condition arised due to famine in these pictures. There is scarcity of water. The condition that arises due to long term and save a scarcity of food grains and water is called famine. Causes of famine Drought, heavy rains and flood is one of the causes of famine. Crops getting washed away or damaged in the flood and so the condition of famine arises. Environmental changes such as temperature change, storms, cold waves or fog. Third cause, damage of crops by animals like mice and rats. Fourth, attack of pests. Fifth, locusts or diseases of crops. Natural calamity like earthquake. Seventh, man-made causes like war, internal unrest, absence of transport routes and uncontrolled population growth. Effects of famine. A majority of the famines occurred in drought prone and flood affected regions. Among the most dreadful famines that have occurred in the world are the famines that affected India and China. Asia has turned out to be the most famine affected continent of the world. Next, cloudburst. We can see the condition of cloudburst in this picture. Cloudburst means heavy rain as if a cloud has burst. See these pictures. We can see effects of cloudbursts. Cloudburst occurs when there is sudden raining over a specific and small region at a rate of 100 mm per hour or more. Water coming down from rain clouds does not reach the land in the form of rain, but due to very high temperature near the land, it vaporizes again and goes back into the same clouds. This results 
in very high amount of water vapor in clouds which result into cloudbursts examples of incidents of cloudburst one example is in leh ladakh on 6th august and in mumbai on 26th august 2005 next disaster is flood we can see flood in this picture the water is entered in human settlements due to excessive rains in the same place a river overflows its banks causing a flood protective measures in views of floods construction of small dams in mountainous regions construction of percolation tanks making river beds flat cultivation of new forests connecting rivers government of india established the national flood commission in 1976 the commission tries to control floods now next disaster is lightning we can see lightning in these pictures the temperature generated by lightning is higher than that of the sun about 95% of the lightning flashes occur only in the sky whereas only 5% of lightning reaches the crowd generation of lightning occurs either within one cloud or between two clouds sometimes it takes place between a cloud and the ground in the atmosphere about 40 lightning flashes occur per second there is very high temperature due to lightning this causes sudden expansion of the air under high pressure which results into cloud thundering generally lightning strikes maximally on the open ground the chances of lightning falling on the open ground are higher than that of under the tree or near water at higher places or near tall object the chances of lightning strikes are much higher lightning can kill a person or there are long term harmful effects proper precautions should be taken during thunderstorms now we can see pictures of volcano or volcanic eruption a volcanic eruption is a natural event or phenomenon in which the solid liquid and gaseous substances below the earth's crust which are very hot are pushed towards the crust the molten lava vapor hot mud sulfur etc are controlled on the surface of the earth forming mountains and hill the atmosphere gets polluted due to the ash and gases ejected by the volcano 
often it rains as a result of volcanic eruption temperature rises due to hot gases forests and settlements get buried under the hot mud now the next disaster is tsunami we can see pictures of tsunami here tsunami is a japanese word which means harbor wave a huge wave formed due to an earthquake or volcano occurring on the ocean floor is called a tsunami the velocity of these waves is 100 to 900 km per hour when they reach a coastal area their velocity is found to have increased even to about 30 meters destructive effects of tsunami large scale damage to life and property great financial loss is the effect of tsunami infrastructures like buildings bridges etc collapse boats and ships near the coast get damaged trees are uprooted and landslides take place on a large scale transportation is affected due to damaged roads normal day to day life is disrupted these are very destructive and harmful effects of tsunami now precautionary measures for tsunami what precaution precautions we can take to protect from tsunami first with the help of an artificial geostationary satellite prediction about tsunami can be understood it gives an immediate estimate about the progress of tsunami in such prediction people from coastal area are warned and relocated to save their lives 13th of october is observed as international day for disaster reduction contact them for disaster management police contact number is 100 fire brigade contact number is 101 contact number of ambulance 102 and contact number of disaster management cell is 108 thank you students